I wanted to share with you things that I already have that I really like. Some of them are gonna be pretty obvious for actors, some of them not so obvious. And let me show you what I would want if I didn't already have these as an actress. And uh, we're gonna start with skincare because as actors, you really have to take care of your skin. These would make great stocking stuffers, although some of the products are going to get a bit pricey. I'm gonna tell you three different skincare things that I love. First of all, sunscreen. This goes on my face every morning. Um, it's 50 SPF, sun bum. If you uh, have ever been on YouTube, you probably already own this. You can really give this to anybody, but actors would really appreciate this. Sometimes you're on set and uh, you're in the sun outside. Sometimes they give you sunscreen, sometimes not. Now, Sephora. Let me tell you about Sephora. Do not talk to the employees there because they are really helpful and they will always give you good advice on what to buy. Good jeans. I have been using the uh, Sunday Riley good jeans from Sephora for a little over a year now and I really like it. It's um, a lactic acid treatment. I don't know exactly what that means, but I know my skin has been looking really good. 1.7 ounces is $122. Moving on, let's not think about the price of that. And then this, to my, my most recent Sephora uh, trip, there was this gentleman named Eric and he was so friendly. He helped me find a bunch of new things. I got the mini glow recipe. This is a toner, a pore tightening toner. It's watermelon. This is a mini, which is pretty good. Um, amount and I just switch off every morning between these two but I'm telling you the first time I used this I was like oh no I'm gonna use this forever because my pores looked so good the next thing is something that I truly believe every actor should have especially if you are in commercial acting or if you just want to seem professional um you always want to have your nails done either in neutral or just clean no nail polish at all but manicured in commercials they'll ask you for pictures of your hands and um, they just want to you want to look professional right and it is your own manicure set like you do your own gel polish this is me i did this i did this and whenever it chips or i break a nail or whatever i'm able to fix it basically for free because i have all of the materials at home rather than going and spending money on a gel manicure depending on where you go it's like 20 30 dollars plus tip if you just want to present yourself well you obviously need to take care of what you look like and your nails are a big part of it and, and i'm going to give you a few ideas for what you can get them if you think that they would appreciate this they will save so much money first of all the uv light i have had this light probably for four or five years. I've had this for a really long time. I got it from Amazon and it was $20. I couldn't find the exact one, but I will link a similar one in the description. And of course, all of these things are going to be linked in the description. You're on YouTube, come on girl. Some of the links are gonna be affiliate links, which means if you click on it and buy something, I am going to get a portion of it. So thank you so much. I always label those links, but um, I love this baby. And also it's pink. Uh, I really like it. Uh, yeah, and it has a timer in the back, so you just click the little timer depending on which one you want, and you stick your nails in there. So that is $20, you can get it on Amazon, and um, these nail polishes I have gotten from Sally's Beauty Supply. So for actors, you wanna choose a color that's similar to their skin tone, a nude color, or just a clear polish. You will definitely need a base coat and a top coat. So these are the ones I use. I use the ASP polishes from Sally Be Sally's Beauty. I've only tried a few. They're easy to take off and I'll show you how I'll take them off in a second. Top coat and a base coat. Each bottle of these is usually between $10 and $15. And you can also get a starter pack from Sally's for $88 that includes the light, some polishes, the base coat, top coat. It has a bunch of stuff in it. So if you do want to spend a little bit more and get them the whole shebang, you can definitely do that. Top coat, base coat for sure. And then if you want to get them a color, and of course you can also just get them a gift card to Sally's Beauty and then send them this video so they can see like what I use if they want to get started with that. But I have a pink color and then a nude color this is actually the one I use the cap is not at all a good representation of the color because this is what I have on my fingers right now on my nails that does not look like it this is the color right here I usually go for this one my nails are this color nine times out of ten and then a pink color this one is a little bit more like bubble gum pink but I still really like it so every once in a while I wear this and I get away with it and um, in order to take that off I actually have these clips and these are for a set of 10 10 fingers they are 350 on Amazon and I just 
put a cotton foil and then clip them on wait 15 minutes and then I can take the polish off and then of course so that they can shape their nails and this is also a great stocking stuffer if you just want to get this oh my gosh I got this for, for Christmas two years ago two years ago and we have been using this every day I don't use it every day but my partner uses it every day because they have really fragile like thinner nails so they always are they love this this one is a German German manicure or German manicure <laughs> brand um, from Amazon. It's $20 for this and the cuticle pen. Definitely recommend this. Dude, you need to buy one for yourself too. I love this thing so much. I didn't know nail files could be so efficient, but this will be really good for this little set to get your nails done at home. And then if you want to also buy a cuticle cutter because you can push your cuticles and get your nail polish a little bit deeper. And I just like to get rid of my cuticles because my nails look a lot better that way. Um, so that's the little manicure set. I do have to say that they need to be a little bit patient. The first maybe five times that I did my nails with this didn't turn out too good. But now I'm watching a movie, I'm watching TV, I'm doing my nails and I'm usually super happy with it. The longest that I have had this specific brand with this light was three weeks. And because it's neutral, you don't need to fill it or like redo it as much. I love it. it saves so much money and your nails look good. I, I am just so used to having my nails done now that whenever I don't have them on, I'm just like, <laughs> When you're on set, you need a few things. You need to make sure that you're staying hydrated, bring a snack, you know, things like that. So this is something that I did include in my previous gift guides, but it, I think it makes you look so professional and it's not a lot of money. So I think you should definitely put it on your wish list or get this for that after. A garment bag, usually when you're on set, especially at beginning stages, you get asked to bring your own wardrobe. This is a garment bag, so you can bring your stuff and look professional and not bring it in grocery bags. A garment bag is really good, so you can put all of your items in there, organize, safely protect them from liquids. Any form of entertainment while you're on set is really important. Books are very easy to carry around. If you lose it, you're not gonna be losing too much because maybe it's 50. $20 like this one. This one is The Actor's Life, A Survival Guide by Jenna Fisher, and I really love it. I recommend it to all actors, new veteran actors, whoever. It's a really good book. It gives you a lot of perspective of what it's like to be an actor, the struggle that Jenna Fisher went through before getting to the office and even after the office. So that's another one. And also when you're on set, you need to stay hydrated. So personalized water bottles, I think are great because sometimes you are literally on set in front of the camera and wardrobe or somebody's like, or a PA is like, okay, I can get your water bottle. And they're like, which one is it? You say the blue one. Well, there's a hundred blue ones, but you can say it's the one with my name on it. So if you want to get something like this, I'm going to link different versions of these. All of these that I got are were gifts, um, but I did find the links. I don't know if it's exactly these ones, but they look just like these ones. This one will cost you about $10 and you can add the name to personalize it. I've had this for such a long time, maybe six years. I'm proud of myself. And why do I not lose it? Because everybody knows it's mine. So they give it to me. Another one is this one. This one's a, a wine tumbler, but I just like the shape. And um, this one's also 10 to $15 on Etsy. And um, it's cute. And it also has my name and cursive. And lastly, this one is for people that might be a little bit more girly, more glammy. I don't usually consider myself somebody that's very girly. Huh. I, I am I am pretty girly. But um, this will cost you $50 to $200 depending on which one you choose because they have different versions of different rhinestones that they use and some of them just have the name in rhinestone. So I will link a few of the ones I have seen on Etsy. But oh my god isn't it so cute and again it has my name belgica customized so yeah people know that i like my name it's also my necklace <laughs> since we're in a fancy territory thanks to that very glammed water bottle i want to tell you about osmo dji i almost say g dji 
four. This is the four one. And I actually got this for my birthday. Oh my gosh, I was so grateful to get this. This could be for actors. They could definitely use this for self tape auditions, but really more YouTubers, vloggers, people that like to make videos at home. Um, so it's a gimbal. Right now it's off. I'm going to turn it on. And it is so fancy. Every time I bring this anywhere, people are like, whoa, what is that? Yeah, DJI Osmo 4. It comes with a tripod that you can attach and then you can put this here. It's a stabilizer. Have I even said what it is? It's a gimbal, it's a stabilizer. So when you are filming, I use this for vlogs all of the time. When you're filming, then you can have it a lot more stable and make people not wanna throw up when they're watching your videos because it's so, it moves so much. It makes them car sick, video sick. Um, yeah. And it comes with a little bag, a strap. I didn't want to stick the magnet on my phone, so I'm just choosing to use the clamp, but it's a stabilizer, and then you can press it twice to make it go the other direction, press it twice again to come back. But dude, you guys, this is my favorite, favorite gift ever. And also you can buy counterweights. These are counterweights it's in case you wanna add anything. I usually have my microphone on here that I'm gonna tell you guys about next. It's right there. <laughs> um, but it, that microphone does not affect this Osmo at all. Um, yeah, I love this thing so much. I love it, I love it, I love it. Not so much for, you know, self tapes, but definitely, I love this thing. Okay, so since we're talking about the microphone, let me tell you about this one. I used to use another one that was a much more expensive, but because the microphones, when I use them, it's usually for videos like this or self-tape auditions, I went into an actual camera store. And the next few things that I'm gonna tell you about, including the gimbal, the stabilizer, you can probably get at a local store if you wanted to spend your money locally and not on Amazon or a website. This microphone was $25 at my local camera store, and I just went in there and I was like, hey, I have the stabilizer. I want something that I won't need to put a counterweight on just because I don't want to deal with it and it being shaky or lopsided. They said use this. It is the smart mic and like I said I just got it at a camera store. It works really well for like one or two people. This one's $24.99. Ceremonic smart mic. I really like it. It does come with a little like wind breaker cover for the microphone but not a fuzzy one so i ended up buying a five pack of these from amazon and they're just like little dead bunnies that you put on your mic whatever you want to call it i know some people call it dead bunnies some people call it muffs and then to protect your microphone because i do want to take care of this microphone even though it's only 25 dollars, great price if you go to the dollar store they have this sewing kit this sewing kit the box is perfect, the perfect size to put your microphone in here with the little dead bunny. And then you can put this in your bag. I personally, um, whenever I travel with this, I have a fanny pack that I put my gimbal, my stabilizer, and my microphone in this little box. And then I know it's protected. I know I'm not gonna mess it up. Something else that I got for my birthday, so I've been using this for at least uh, seven months, eight months is a moment case and a moment 18 millimeter wide angle lens so you have to have the case in order to use this because the uh this is for your phone and then you put it on take off the cover and then that is it this 18 millimeter lens is 130 dollars on moment but i went on moment and it looks like they're having a holiday sale so if you're watching this around the time where this is posted go see if it is still there these cases are usually 50 dollars but but this is from my old phone. I got mine for I think $20 including shipping used and it looked brand new. So if you get somebody a used one, it looks like it's new. They even had the insert here, you know, the fake phone cardboard insert. This one was $80 on sale, but usually 130. So this might be 130 when you go. I love it. Love to take pictures with it. Again, for vlogging when I don't have my gimbal and this is facing me or I use the counterweights. So the case and the fisheye, really fun to use, especially if it's somebody maybe who does TikToks or YouTube, Instagram, whatever. It's a really fun gift. Now let's get more into the self-tape arena. Some of this stuff I have mentioned in the past and I just wanna tell you about it again so you know I'm still using these things. Um, this I have had for a long time. It's a 24 inch reflector that I'm using right now 
and it is only $13.99 on Amazon and it's a bunch of different colors. I use it to diffuse the light just so it's not so harsh and it works really great on my backdrops. I have too many drop backdrops, honestly. I don't need all of these, especially because I mostly just use them for auditions, but this gray one is the one that I use the most. It is a 53 inch Savage Paper backdrop and it is $37. If you wanted to get an 86 inch backdrop, it's $56. A 53 inch one is fine. You don't really need an 86 one unless you really want to do wide, wide shots. Usually for auditions, they're okay with you doing a vertical shot for a full body shot, but they have lots of colors. I had to end up getting this so I could see what colors I actually had because I was confused of which gray one I had, but I would suggest to get a gray or a blue if they're actors um, and they're going to be using it for self-tape auditions. And this tripod that I'm using right now is my favorite tripod, $80, and then the phone mount unfortunately doesn't come with it. This one um, bounces around in pricing. It's a metal uh, phone mount that is adjustable it's usually 16 to 20 dollars but i really like it because it's so sturdy and it's not a spring so it's it's like a it looks like a screw in there so it's a lot easier to move around and you won't break it as easily i haven't broken this and i've had it for a while and then of course my ring light you guys i got this ring light years ago for christmas is it gonna be six years and it's it bounces around also on amazon and pricing it's a newer 18 inch ring light and it's usually between 80 dollars to a hundred dollars but if you get anything for the actor if they don't have anything at all i think a ring light will be very very beneficial because they can film their self tape auditions at any time if they already have natural lighting then that's fine you know they can do that but if they want to be able to film these at night their auditions that's the most useful thing that in a tripod and storage if they are filming auditions oh i hate when I used to, I used to, cause I don't do this anymore, but I hate when I used to run out of storage when I would be filming a micro SD card. If you have an Android, we have a place to put that on there. If you have an iPhone, we will have to get an adapter to get a micro SD card. Depending on the size of your SD card, it will vary in pricing. Any of these will be very helpful so they can use the SD card specifically for filming. Uh, 32 gig on Amazon is about $10. And if you want to get them a terabyte, I don't know who would use a whole terabyte on their phone with self tape auditions, but a terabyte micro SD card on Amazon is $140 right now. That's a lot. And speaking of storage, also, if you want to get them an SSD, I personally use an SSD for my YouTube videos and my self tape auditions so that I keep everything always. I currently have a Samsung SSD that's one terabyte, it's around $100, and then you can get two terabytes for around $230, $230. And then what I'm filming on right now and what I use also for my self tapes is. The same things that I use for my YouTube videos, I use for my self tapes. I am using the Filmic Pro app. So if you wanna give them a gift card for whatever app store they can purchase from, um, it's $15 on Android or iOS, Apple. Yeah, so $15 for that app. Is it full? Oh my gosh, am I actually done? Wow. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more ideas, only a few of these things were repeats from previous years. I did this in 2019 and 20. So I have more ideas over there on subscriptions that you should get them. Um, cash is always good with the little cute message of get the subscription. This is for your acting career. Share this with somebody that is an actor. So maybe they know what to put on their wish list or buy some of these things for actors. And I know they will be very grateful. And lastly, I want to give you something that is free um, and it is a playlist. If you know that somebody wants to become an actor, I am putting together a playlist to give you of not only my videos, I'm also going to include videos from other creators that are acting related. Some of them are in Atlanta, Florida, different parts of the US. Um, and I'm going to include some of their videos, some of my favorite videos that I think are really informative and helpful, especially for new actors. And um, yeah, you can give them a link to that playlist and that will be free. You can include it maybe in a um, with another gift or with a Christmas card and tell them how much you appreciate them and how proud you are that they are reaching for their goals for their dreams because acting is not easy <laughs> it's not an easy career to be in but um, I really like it so I'm still here doing it 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, and at the end of every video, I feature another channel. Uh, this is today's feature, and if you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure that you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment.